What's up amigos? Welcome to The Rad Health. My name is Rado, I'm a registered nutritionist and in this video I'm talking about multivitamins. And more specifically, should you take them and is there any scientific evidence to say that they are actually helpful? I also go in a personal story about my take of multivitamins, but you'll get into that. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and for now, just enjoy the video. I need to be honest with you guys. Up until last year, I was a vitamin supplement addict. I've tried almost any supplement that was out in the supermarket. If you asked me at the time, I would have said, of course they work. Why wouldn't they? If I didn't take them, I'd be ill every other week. They give me enough nutrition to rely on my diet. We all make mistakes, I'm here to admit mine, but first let me tell you about what vitamins actually do for you. You see, vitamins are small chemical blobs that help your body function the way that it should. And there's two main types, there's the water soluble and there's the fat soluble, depending on what they dissolve in. When you take a lot of the water soluble ones, more than you should, you end up being the ones that you don't need out of your system. But when you take more of the more sticky fat soluble ones, you can get in a little bit more trouble. Let me give you a few examples. Vitamin D, what we take from the sun, helps you have stronger bones. Vitamin A, a lot of you know, helps you have healthy eyes, but also protect your skin, cell membranes, and all these small difficult things that you don't need to worry about. And we all need a special amount of these small nutrients in order to live better. So shouldn't taking all of this in the form of a pill, it just act as health insurance, that you don't need to worry about your diet throughout the day. Well, let's look at what the studies say. In order to figure out what multivitamins can actually help us with, I needed to do a little bit of research. And it turns out there's some pretty conflicting evidence. Now, first I want to make sure, if you're a person that has a nutritional deficiency, make sure you take your vitamin supplements. Absolutely. They're the ones that are going to help you become healthier. Also, if you're a pregnant lady expecting a tiny human, you have to take enough folic acid and iron, both from your diet and from supplements. Also, people in low-income families and people that come from deprived countries and can't eat a variety of foods should also consider, if they have the option to, take vitamin supplements because their diet's just not providing enough. But what about regular healthy people that have access to and can afford a varied diet. Well, there were a few studies that altogether tested hundreds of thousands of people, and it turns out they all concluded zero effect, no effect whatsoever on all cause mortality. Meaning that if you take multivitamins, you're just as likely to die from any of the diseases than a regular person that doesn't take the multivitamins. Now, of course, some of you might think, okay, I'm still gonna take mine, just making sure that my diet's well enough. But as the old saying goes, too much of a good thing is a bad thing. There was a study that showed that three quarters of the people they tested took enough vitamins and minerals from their diet alone without the need of vitamin supplements. But most of them did take a supplement anyways. And what turned out? 15 to 20 percent of them ended up overdosing on certain vitamins and minerals just because of the supplement. So why is that bad? Well, in some cases, you can experience very adverse effects. Vitamin C, which is a water-soluble vitamin, is gonna give you severe gut pain, diarrhea, but eventually it's gonna pass within a day or two. But if you overdose on vitamin A, which is a fat-soluble and it stays in your body for longer, you can expect stuff like high blood pressure, liver disease, depression, just from taking too much of it. And there are cases of people getting lung cancer by taking more than enough vitamin E. I know it sounds too far-fetched, but it happens. So we found out that they're not really helpful. In fact, they could be harmful in many cases. So how many of us are actually taking them? 
Statistics say one in every three in most developed countries take a vitamin supplement daily. Why do we all do that? I think it has to do with the mentality that we're approaching it with. You see, most of us think that we're trying to avoid this deficiency state. We're trying to avoid being ill. When instead what we should be aiming for is being healthy. How do we get healthy? Eat real food. Simple as that. You see, when you eat an apple, you don't really just eat the vitamins in it and the sugars and the fibers and all the rest of the stuff. You also eat nutrients that we haven't yet discovered. And all you gotta do is take a few fruit and vegetables a day. Eat your five a day, maybe have a piece of fish every now and again, drink your milk for some calcium. You don't need to do that much. It's okay to have a few days of low vitamins, as long as you get a few days of high vitamins. Which brings me to my next point. I want to give you guys a challenge. For the next seven days, try with every meal and every snack in between the meals that you have, to have a piece of fruit or a small vegetable with it. It will make the biggest difference in just seven days. I promise you, anytime you have a, even a pita, you can put a small salad next to it. Or the next time you open up a bag of crisps, have a handful of bell peppers with it. It's just as crunchy. Once you finish the seven days, let me know how it goes in the comments below. I'd be really excited to see what you guys have to say. Also, let me know what's your opinion on multivitamins. Do you like them? Do you take them? Do you think they're a necessary part of daily life? Or just something that we all end up doing because of habit? Let me know in the comments below. And because I can't leave you guys without any recommendations, here's how it goes. If you're really afraid that you have a nutrient deficiency, the best way you can find out is go and have a blood sample test. If you're afraid of needles or don't want to take the blood sample test, there's lots of websites that are going to be able to analyze your diet and tell you how much of each of the nutrients you're taking. I'll put a link of one of those sites in the description below. Once you get the results, make sure you consult them with a nutritionist or hit this guy up via email. That's it from me guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, hit like, hit subscribe, share it on social media, send it to your cat so you can be healthier together. I'll leave that to you. Until next time, stay fresh, eat your veggies and be healthy. See you later guys.